Have you ever heard about vertical and horizontal relationships? The Bible teaches us that our vertical relationship with God provides the basis for healthy horizontal relationships with others. Jesus considers loving relationships with others, horizontal, as an indicator that someone is his disciple, vertical relationship. Relationships are so important in the context of spiritual growth that a day, the Sabbath, was created to regularly promote both vertical and horizontal relationships. A true experience with God will always lead someone to become even closer to their fellow human beings, to benefit them. And it is when we regularly gather together to worship God that the two dimensions of our relationships, vertical and horizontal, meet each other. In the apostolic era, some were becoming quite negligent on regularly gathering together to worship God. So, to prevent spiritual death and apostasy, God's message was clear. The act of gathering with others in the name of Jesus, whenever this option is available, would become something more and more important as the day of His coming approaches. And it refers to the time in which we live right now. In Leviticus 23.3, the Lord also stresses the importance of Sabbath meetings. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, a holy convocation. The word convocation, mikra in Hebrew, means meetings, assemblies, gatherings. It indicates that the Lord considers those gatherings as holy and an integral part of what He expects us to do during the Sabbath. Besides Sabbath gatherings, there is still another way to foster vertical and horizontal relationships simultaneously. When you return your tithes and promise to God through your church's treasury, you put to work a system of distribution that will bless other human beings around the world. Based on the biblical storehouse principle, this system of distribution provides equitable growth for the church's ministries and missionary endeavors, locally, regionally, and internationally. By being regularly together, and by also putting our financial resources in the same pot, we grow in mutual trust, love, and unity, while at the same time we are worshiping God. Like a well-organized army, we don't fight each other as it seems best to us. Instead, we march united, focusing on a common goal. Because we trust our commander, we put all our resources together and fulfill his commission to preach the gospel throughout the world. As you return your tithe and give your promise, remind yourself how important it is to work together to speed the final preaching of the gospel. Let us strengthen our ties until the day we see our Savior face to face. May we put our desires last and God first.